Let's make one of my favorite meals to make in the Instant Pot, chicken tortilla lime soup. This recipe is gut healthy and super easy to make so you can have delicious soup throughout the week. Don't worry, I know some of the ingredients make it look really kale heavy, but I promise you this soup is fire. Let's talk ingredients. First things first, you wanna make sure that you have them all. I like to spread them all out on the counter just so I can make sure I don't have to make any store runs right in the middle of cooking. Let's do an ingredient check. Two chicken breasts, preferably pasture raised. Pasture raised chicken can sometimes be hard to find so you can go for the next best thing which is free range chicken. For a vegetarian soup, you can skip this altogether or even add in corn grounds or corn chicken pieces. If you're not worried about inflammation from soy, go ahead and use tofu. Next, you want seven cups chicken bone broth or vegetable broth, preferably organic, but it doesn't have to be. Half of a yellow onion, four stalks of celery, at least five cups of chopped kale, avocado or olive oil, minced garlic cloves, one to two tablespoons of lime juice, either straight from the source or from the bottle, and an optional one half cup chopped organic tomatoes. If you want your soup completely anti-inflammatory, feel free to skip it or use Pommy brand Italian tomatoes. Now for the toppings. Toppings are your choice, but the options are avocados, parmigiano reggiano, and cilantro. Now let's do a seasoning check-in because that's what makes or breaks this soup. Make sure you have paprika, garlic powder, salt, pepper, cumin, and chili powder. So we're gonna cook the chicken separately. I like to clean my chicken breasts by running them under cold water and then adding baking soda and vinegar. I don't know if it does much, but it does help my chicken anxiety. Then I'm gonna go ahead and season my chicken with salt, pepper, paprika, and garlic powder. Then pop it in the air fryer at 390 for 20 minutes. You can also bake it, but air frying is way easier to me. Also use avocado oil spray or olive oil spray. Throw that pam away. I used this slicing attachment in my food processor to chop up the celery because I do love a chunky soup and this gave me the perfect size celery. But I used the chopping attachment to cut up the onions because I don't really like huge pieces of onions in my soup. All you really need is half an onion. I think any more would probably be too much. Then you wanna separate the kale leaves from the stems and chop it into small spoonful sized pieces. I used dino kale cause it's pretty but a quicker option would be to use baby kale. Once all your vegetables are chopped, you wanna press the saute button on your Instant Pot and heat up your oil. Once your oil's hot, add your celery and onions, wait about a minute for them to cook, and then add your garlic. And in this recipe, we're seasoning our vegetable mixture because I don't know who said onions and garlic was enough flavor, but it's not. Add about another half a teaspoon each of salt, pepper, and cumin, and then let those flavors saute in for about another three minutes. Turn off the saute setting and add your broth to the Instant Pot. Sometimes it's helpful to scrape the bits off the bottom so you don't get a burn warning. Personally, I don't do it that much and I've never gotten a burn warning, so if you wanna risk it, risk it. The tomatoes are probably the most controversial ingredient in here because they can be kind of inflammatory with the seeds and the skins on, but if you can find an organic brand that skins and seeds them, you're in the clear. To the broth, add one teaspoon of chili powder, a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Then add about five cups of that chopped kale and your air fried chicken breast chopped up into bite sized pieces. Set your Instant Pot to the soup and broth setting for about 15 minutes and prep your toppings while you wait. Speaking of toppings, look how perfect this avocado is. Oh my God. When time is up, do a quick release. My dog hates this part, watch. It's gonna smell so good, I promise. And then now is where you're going to add your freshly squeezed lime juice. Even if it's not freshly squeezed, that's cool too. I'm not judging. Then you wanna serve it to eat immediately. It refrigerates and freezes pretty well too, but I promise once you smell it, you're gonna wanna have some right then and there. I like to have it in the fridge as a low effort backup meal when I don't feel like making anything and I can really only manage to scoop some stuff into a bowl and eat because let's face it, who's got time to make every meal a five-star production? I top my tortilla soup with half an avocado, parmigiano reggiano, cilantro, and the Siete dip chips. Siete also has flavored cassava tortilla chips that can add another layer of flavor to this soup if you want. I think the nacho flavor is pretty good, but my partner is partial to the jalapeno. This recipe is definitely one you'll want to add to your healthy but tasty collection. Find the written recipe on my website, tendingyourtransformation.com. 
or join me on Patreon where you can get full access to my recipe reference card collection and join the community where we can talk about different recipes we're trying, making healthier and making taste better. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'm sending love and healing your way. Bye.